So this is what you should have on your paper from last week. You should have followed the steps that I posted on Schoology and then um, done everything with a pencil. So what I want you to know is that this is just a regular Faro mask. If you want to, you can turn it into a funky Faro and you can add some things to it to make it um, more fun. Um, so if you want to, you could add like some glasses on here. You could add some earrings. You could add a lip ring or a nose ring, any other kinds of jewelry that you wanna add. Um, let's see, we could even add an eyebrow ring. Um, maybe you wanna add some facial tattoos. Or if you're not into any of those things, you could decorate the hat a little bit if you just wanna put, um, you could write your name on here. I'm just gonna write. I'm just gonna write Egypt. And you can put some decorations onto the hat if you want to. Um, the pharaohs sometimes would have like a beard, so if you don't like any of these things, you could always add a beard if you wanted to. Um, the beard covering that they used to wear in ancient Egypt um, was kind of like a piece of cloth that they would wrap around their beard. Um, so to make it look like it's wrapped around, you could draw these diagonal lines that go across to make it look like it's wrapped. And then you kind of go back across the other way. It kind of winds up looking like a bunch of X's. All right, so you can add things to your Faro if you want to, you don't have to. And then what you're gonna wanna do is take your Sharpie and trace over all of your pencil lines. Once you have everything traced with a Sharpie, you might wanna take a larger eraser or any kind of eraser really, and just erase a few of the pencil lines that you might not have traced over exactly. So if there's any pencil lines peeking out from behind your Sharpie, go ahead and erase that. And then once you have that done, you are ready to color and you can color your faro whatever color you want um, a normal faro would be made out of gold and so there would be a lot of this yellow color um, so if you're just doing a normal faro it would be yellow and blue um, and it would be a color pattern you would go blue yellow blue yellow the whole way around the hat um, and if you want to make it more of a funky faro, you can use whatever colors you have. This just happens to be all neon colors. So if you have neon colors, you can use that also. I'm just gonna be using crayons. Um, you can use crayons, colored pencils, markers, oil pastels, whatever you wanna do. And you can color your faro whatever color you want. The only thing that I am going to require is that you have a color pattern for around the hat. So you do have to go back and forth between two colors, but it does not have to be yellow and blue. It could be whatever color pattern you want. So I think I'm gonna do orange and green and do whatever color pattern you want. Just needs to be two colors and you need to make sure that you use the same two colors that go around the whole Okay, and then once you have everything colored in and your faro is complete, then you will be ready to post a picture onto Schoology. Remember, this is a grade, so make sure that you post a picture onto Schoology when you're finished.